What's up guys? We're back with another video. If this is your first time tuning into the YouTube channel for a property tour, my name is Brandon. I am your favorite realtor and relocation specialist here in the state of Texas. Today we are at the Lake Falls location checking out this beautiful model home built by Grand Homes in McKinney, Texas. This is going to be a Royal Waterford floor plan. It is absolutely stunning guys. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath home with roughly 3,500 square feet and it is absolutely stunning. I believe the starting price for this floor plan goes for around 740,000 at the current time that I'm filming this video, but this floor plan, or this model rather, does include about $100,000 worth of upgrades, and I can't wait to show y'all. Before we get in there, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel to get more content like this up to three times every single week. I try to bring y'all some beautiful model homes as well as custom homes here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and hoping to branch out to other markets in Texas soon. But let's get her going, my friends. It is a beautiful day here in Dallas-Fort Worth. It is about 82 degrees outside, so we definitely had to take advantage of the day and make it a filming day. And then after this, of course, the other side of the business that a lot of people don't see, the monotony, is making a ton of consultation and follow-up calls and then doing some scheduling. But as soon as we enter, guys, you see that this model does have this upgraded door with the four window panels. It looks absolutely beautiful. And off to our right, we're actually going to have a office space. You guys will see that this house is just completely decked out with upgrades. It is absolutely beautiful. And I did get a little bit of feedback, by the way, in a couple of other videos to just try to take it a little bit slower with the camera angles. So that is certainly what I'm going to try to do from here on out. You guys let me know if you have any other feedback for me in the comment section down below. And just know that I take it all into consideration because at the end of the day, you guys are the ones that are watching the videos. But absolutely stunning guys. This is actually their second phase in this neighborhood here in McKinney, Texas. So needless to say, all your shopping and dining is going to be minutes away. This is a very up and coming area here in McKinney. We are only minutes away from Allen and Plano, Richardson. Uh, we are about 20 minutes away from Frisco. So very convenient spot for sure. We have these beautiful sliding doors uh, on both sides so you can enclose the office space. Those do not come standard. That is of course gonna be an upgrade. And you guys saw as soon as we entered the modern staircase with the iron railing, just absolutely stunning. Wow. Of course, all upgrades, and then you get a little bit of a hint of it, but they do have some wine racks hiding underneath, very low key, but I think they do a great job. This is actually a super elegant home. I've been here for the last, I don't know, 25 minutes or so, already filming, getting content for Instagram. If you guys aren't following me over on the gram, please consider doing so. I upload there every single day. And I typically will upload on Instagram before I'll even upload on YouTube. So if you guys are on Instagram, you get a little hint of what's going to come to the YouTube channel. And I try uh, on Instagram as well. It'll include a little bit more budget friendly homes as well um, for all my folks out there that aren't looking at homes in this kind of price range. Oh, and I did include in the beginning of the video. I'll go ahead and leave it in the uh, property description at the beginning. But prices in this community will range from the $670,000 range to well over $1.3 million. And those are all base prices for whatever floor plan you choose to build in this community. Uh, and that, of course, is not going to include the price of any upgrades that you would uh, subsequently get. So look at that kitchen island, guys. I absolutely love that. Navy blue is my favorite color, and I think it blends so, so well with these quartz countertops. Of course, waterfall, we love that look, but it just looks amazing. I actually love the way that they staged this home. It is beautiful. Nice size walk-in pantry. And then you guys already got a kind of a hint of the full kitchen, but you have your glass exposed cabinets, which is really nice. It makes the space feel larger and more inviting. You have your chef style kitchen with the six range gas stove, your chef style vent hood from KitchenAid. All your appliances are going to be KitchenAid that come with the home, um, with the model home. Of course, if you build, the appliances don't come included, but eventually someone is going to purchase this model home down the road whenever they're looking to finish phasing out the community. 
got a beautiful farmhouse styled sink i love the gold accents with the light color tones it's just that extra little pop of color that doesn't scream like they're trying to do too much but it just hits just right nice little kind of breakfast nook right here with a kind of a dry bar over there with the floating shelves a little bit of cabinetry space this specific floor plan, my friends, it does have, as I mentioned earlier, four bedrooms, but you can spec it up if you choose to build this floor plan. Uh, you can get up to five bedrooms. In this community, you can get anything from three bedrooms to six bedrooms, two to three car garages, anything from 1,900 square feet to uh, over 4,800 square feet. So that's a huge difference. That's a huge discrepancy right there. Um, so you guys can get a little bit of a hint that Grand Homes is fairly flexible as well as the number of bed and, or a number of bathrooms that you can get anywhere from three bathrooms to five full baths. Uh, so yeah, Grand Homes, very, very flexible for what they can do. They are a semi-custom builder, easily one of my favorite builders in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and all throughout Texas. But the reputation up here in North Texas is fantastic. Their craftsmanship, their attention to detail, their customer service and support, the warranty that comes with the homes, they are just top notch guys. So if you can afford Grand Homes in any of their communities that you're kind of looking, if they fit within your price range, definitely don't sleep guys. They are fantastic. Of course, we're gonna check out the backyard last. This uh, neighborhood is gonna be a little bit different where the garages are actually put in the back of the home. So you drive through a little kind of a road back there. Uh, so you're yards or lots are going to be just a little bit different shape but absolutely stunning guys again i'm trying to take it just a little bit of a slower pace for this video so let me know what you guys think of the pacing down below maybe some people think i'm going actually too slow right now but we'll see i actually love this view right here look at that oh my gosh you just see everything fantastic and then of course your dry bar right here they use the same backsplash tile, same accents on the knobs, as well as same quartz countertops that they're using in the kitchen. So keeping everything nice and uniform. This model home does have a upgraded electric fireplace, which looks super sleek. Very nice. It's kind of interesting because I don't feel any heat standing right next to it, but that is actual fire and it's 82 degrees outside. When I saw it on, when I, uh, originally walked in i was like oh man it's gonna be really hot but nope not at all and look at that oh my gosh this house is just stunning give a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the property tour and then we're gonna go swing into our master bath right after we check out this powder room right here this is going to be the half bath in the home it has three full bathrooms very interesting choice of wallpaper but i feel like it fits the overall style that they went for with the design of this home Back here, this would typically be closed off as kind of like a uh, closet with a wall. And then this would be your two-car garage right here. Or actually, this would most likely be uh, available as a mudroom if you wanted to go that way. But I believe that would be an upgrade as well. And then again, this would be your two-car garage. And right here is going to be your master. The master suite is fantastic, guys. Look at those exposed beams. Again, the neutral color tones, same kind of color tones all throughout with the navy, matches the chairs over by the kitchen. And then the master suite actually does have access to the backyard, uh, which is very convenient. And then it has a built-in bench right here for all my folks that would be looking to read or just chill right there. That's definitely very nice to have at your disposal. Sliding barn style doors, of course. That chandelier is absolutely wild. <laughs> And then the master bath, guys, I love the way that they designed it. It's a little bit smaller than what I've seen from some of Grand Homes' as other models, but I mean, what can you ask for when you're in a home that's just about 3,500 square feet? This is gonna be their closet. Very decent size master closet. And then right here, the throne. This right here is a real throne not the iron throne <laughs> again you have another bench built in i believe that's going to be quartz as well and full walk-in shower with a rain style shower head my goodness that's just gorgeous full soaking tub of course would come as an upgrade the floating shelves are always super clean 
I love that, and I love the neutral color tones. It's kind of like a uh, a sand type of color uh, in person. Looks very, very nice. The double vanity, very nice. And then the upstairs, guys, it has a uh, media room as well as a loft space. So this home, for only being 3,500 square feet, they definitely maxed out its potential, I feel, with all the upgrades and everything. And you guys see they are doing a little bit of landscaping outside. So I apologize if there is a little bit of uh, background noise in the video. But look at that, you get a little bit of a hint of what it would look like being up here. My goodness. And right here, of course, looking down to your formal dining area. These ceilings are gonna be about 23 feet high. And then, oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> that is beautiful. For all, my uh, for all my people out there that have seen the movie Bruce Almighty, that is B-E-A beautiful. <laughs> I think that's such a silly line, but I actually love that line. This is going to be one, or I guess two, because we checked out the master, two of your four bedrooms. It has a step-in size closet. Very nice. Kid numero uno will go in there. And then of course you got some exposed panels so you get some natural lighting up here and you kind of get a hint of the media room all the way in the back and the loft very nice i think they did a fantastic job with the whole staging of the home and then this is going to be a full bathroom that is shared with the bedroom that we just viewed as well as all your guests that would be utilizing the space up here if you're entertaining look at these light fixtures these are absolutely insane the camera does a great job of picking that up as well. I hope I didn't just blind somebody. Man, that uh, leaf blower is absolutely going insane. <laughs> Pretty good. That is just, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Wow, Grand Homes, easily one of my favorite builders. They're not full, fully custom, but wow, they're they are phenomenal. You're not missing out on much uh, if you were to go with a different, uh, right? You're actually missing out on a lot if you were to go with a different builder. Here you have another dry bar with a wine cooler or just a mini fridge and then your uh, media room. Of course, this model isn't gonna have it enclosed, but you can add that as an upgrade to have this closed off with some sliding doors, which would be very nice. Bedroom number three. Fantastic. It does have access to the Jack and Jill bathroom right here. It has its own step-in size closet. And this is actually pretty cute. <laughs> I've, I've become somewhat of a golf fan within the last 12 months. So it's definitely nice to see that added in there. And then this is going to be the bathroom. That door that I didn't open, it just comes in here, but that light fixture that is that is so nice <laughs> of course oh i forgot to mention if you guys are looking to get connected with a realtor regarding any real estate services whether you're looking to buy sell or rent or if you're just looking to get connected to answer some questions or whatever your uh, situation looks like i am more than happy to assist you uh, i have a calendly link in the description down below it takes no more than five minutes to fill out and you can go ahead and self-schedule a consultation call with me. It is, of course, completely free. And it gives us an opportunity to get connected as well as to see what your situation looks like and how we can be of service to you. So, yeah, if you guys feel so inclined, you can go ahead and fill that out. And we can get rocking and rolling. Especially if you guys are first-time home buyers, You don't really know what the process looks like and all of that. I am more than happy to be of assistance to you. I think they're still doing work outside, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to go out there right now. Might be a little bit crazy. I don't think they're in the backyard anymore though, so I think we'll be good. Might just be just a little bit loud. But I was reading a, a little bit of a book before I came out here, it's called Stillness. Uh, I for, oh, forgot, <laughs> I forgot the title already, but something Stillness, uh, written by a gentleman called Eckhart Tolle. 
And there was a, uh, there was a line in the book that really stood out to me right before I left. I kind of like sat and ruminated on it for a little bit. He said, in the words of Jesus, Jesus says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And he says, remember that when he said that, that also applies to you. I know that as Christians, it can be so easy to forgive other people. And one of the hardest things that we learn to do is to learn how to forgive ourselves. But that's exactly what Jesus calls us to do when he says, forgive them for they know not what they do. He was seeking grace for us, my friends. He was seeking grace. And of course, this is where your two car garage would be. This is gonna be a back road to where all the uh, garage access would be for this community. But yeah, guys, as I was saying, Jesus tells us, uh, or he's, he's asking the Father to forgive all of us. Uh, a lot of times, especially for people that don't necessarily believe in the gospel or in God, they try to use uh, Jesus's words or whatever comes out of the Bible in a very, um, in a very literal sense. So an argument that I've heard is, well, he was talking about the people that were crucifying him. He's not talking about everyone else. But of course he's talking about everyone else. He's talking about you. He's talking about me. He's talking about people of all times and all ages. And he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And I think that that's just so beautiful because, again, one of the hardest things that we learn to do is forgive ourselves for whatever it is. I mentioned in another video, if we're not measuring up, we can be over, overly critical on ourselves. But one of the most amazing things that God has given us is that we are made in his likeness. And the reason I say one of the most amazing things that he's given us is because the most amazing thing he gave us is eternal salvation. <laughs> What's better? What can be better than that? You know what I mean? But what I'm saying, guys, is no matter what you're going through, learn to forgive yourself. I've made mistakes. And when you just remember those mistakes, you're just keeping yourself in the same place. You're like running in circles. And that's not what I want for you guys. That's not what, what Jesus wants for you. That's not what the Lord wants for you. He wants good things for you. He wants you to forgive yourself. He wants you to see yourself the way that he sees you. So if, I like to, to think of it like this. Like if you had a kid, or uh, for all my younger folks out there, if you had like a best friend, an absolute best friend or a sibling, and they're just being so hard on themselves, it's so easy to give them advice and feel sympathetic and empathetic towards their situation. But when it happens to us, we can we can feel like our situation is so unique to us and no one understands and and oh my gosh, this is the most terrible thing that could have happened to anyone ever. But guys, there is nothing that God will get you into that he cannot get you out of. Absolutely nothing. My friends, if he could raise his son on the third day after he died, then what can, what can possibly happen in your life that God can't write? What can someone have done to have wronged you that God can't write? You are not irredeemable, my friends. For whoever I'm speaking to out there, I know I'm talking to one of you, you are perfect just the way you are. You are made in God's likeness and God's image and you are made with God's love and his spirit. Remember that you yourself are a temple of the Holy Spirit. You yourself are a temple where the spirit of God dwells. Remember that. Remember, you do not belong to yourselves, my friends. You belong to something much greater. And I don't know about you, but I find peace in that. I find peace in knowing that no matter what I do, I am actually not Brandon. I am a Christian. I am a godly person and therefore good things are going to happen. And I know they are because I'm faithful, but I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm rambling again, but if you guys made it to this point in the video, we're about 19 minutes in. I appreciate you so much. Even when I'm rambling, uh, you guys definitely don't have to stay here that long. If you enjoy the property tour, consider giving the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel if you are new. And if you guys are looking to get connected, you can hit the Calendly link down below or you can send me a DM on Instagram, but I do prefer that you hit the Calendly link uh, just because it is a little bit easier. If you guys are looking to rent or something, I'm gonna be looking to set up a link down there as well for rentals. Uh, so you can be on the lookout for that as well. And locating services are free throughout the state of Texas. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you for sticking around. I love you all and I'll catch you in the next one. God bless.